Today on Megan Makes Cupcakes, I'm going to teach you how to make a Pokemon ball. So let's get started with the things that we need. You'll need white, black, yellow, and red fondant, a small paring knife, a gourmet food writer, a fabric cutter or pizza cutter, a sharp knife, a round cutter for a topper, different sizes of round small cutters. Two of my round shapes I'm using a piping tip for. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of that red fondant and a little bit of that black fondant and make sure we have a little bit of that cornstarch down again so it doesn't stick and then we can just roll these out. If you're wanting to do several of them, then I would just roll them into thick logs like that. If you roll over both of them at the same time, then that helps to achieve the same thickness. Okay, so what we can do now is I'm just gonna cut the edge off so it's straight. Same here. And you can see how you could just keep on going here if you wanted. And then we're just gonna simply take our cutter Put it on top and then you have half red and half black for that. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of that cookie icing or water and you're just going to connect those two sides. So once those stick together we have the two sides of our Pokemon ball. Okay, so to make our extra belt, we're just going to roll this out into another little log. And we're going to roll it. Okay, so now I'm just cutting out a thin band to go on top of our Pokemon ball. And if you're using a cutting mat, that can really help to cut them all the same size. So just measure it to see what looks good. So wet that down really good. Not too much water, but just enough so that it will adhere well. And you're just going to take it, bend it on the side, and then just cut it towards the edge. Now we're just going to start out doing the white ball. First we're going to do a black circle and then the white on top but I just like to start off the white first because then you don't have to worry about any black spots sticking to your white once you have a fresh clean mat. We're going to use this size for black and then we're going to do this white on top of that. I'm just going to put a little bit of cornstarch down. And then we're just going to cut out these little white circles. And we can put these to the side. Okay, so now we're going to roll out our black fondant. And then I'm just going to use this tip as my little cookie cutter. And there you can see it turns out a perfect circle. Okay, so now you can see I have a little bit of this cookie icing in a bowl. And we're just going to use that to glue on our black circle. Kind of spruce up the edges a little bit. Voila. And then we can take one of our little white circles we just made as well. And glue that on top of our black circle. And there you have a completed Pokemon ball that would be wonderful for any children's party or for those who are fans of Pokemon. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you again next time.